Some of these faces you'll recognize, and some you won't. But they all have one thing in common. They are the lucky ones to be chosen at random by a man who discovered a unique recording and who gave them the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to listen. The very first person I stopped was cycling along in Notting Hill and I told him what I was about to do and bizarrely he pulled out an iPod and said, Nick Drake, he said. I said, yes. He said, hang on. Which track? I said, cello song. He said, yeah, I've only got one version of that. Yeah, let's do it. The recording was found more than 30 years ago in a rubbish skip by television composer Michael Burdett. Right at the bottom of the skip was a scruffy little quarter-inch tape in a box. And written on it in felt-tip pen was cello song, um, Nick Drake, with love. It was the phrase, with love, that made me pick it up. Had it not had those two words on it, that tape would have stayed in that, in that skip, I think. Nick Drake had died from an overdose just a few years earlier, and his work was still relatively unknown, so Michael filed the tape away as a curiosity. It was 20 years before he played it, in which time Nick had become recognised, as one of the most influential songwriters of the late 20th century. As the guitar started, I thought, there's something wrong with the tape machine. It didn't sound right. And then the percussion started, seemed busier than I remember. And then two cellos came in. Now, on the original cello song, there's just one. And then Nick started humming. Uh, and I realised pretty much immediately that, that here was something that I suspected nobody had heard for a good 30 years. Michael realised it was not his place to release or broadcast the recording, but he wanted to share it, and he hit on the idea of taking the music to the people. If they knew Nick Drake, it was a no-brainer. Yes, I want to hear it. If they didn't, it seemed to be a no-brainer as well. So I think there was something really alluring about having a recording that you could be one of the first people to hear. My motivation was, I suppose, as a duty to the tape itself. His music gets lost in his story because it's such a melancholy tale of a young lad recording stuff, not being recognised and dying tragically young. But here was an opportunity to take a piece of music out to people who may not know of him and see them react and listen to what they had to say without knowing the tale. This is a film about how music can touch people's lives, be they a household name or the man in the street. As we meet the people Michael photographed and hear their stories, we'll consider the continued influence Nick Drake's work has on popular music and document how the Strange Face project has touched the lives of an unsuspecting few.